go then for Minimoto. 4.2 into the first corner, and it looks like Sandy Horn gets the early lead. Chloe Jones in second place. And Chloe Jones, we saw her earlier in the Mini GP, had some bike trouble and dropped out of contention. And let's see what she can do in this second race as she tries to put Sandy Horn under pressure. Sandy Horn has been the Minimoto rider to beat this year, though, and already gets the jump on the field. Chloe Jones, though, not letting him get too far away. Josh Darter and Justin Bainbridge in there as well. Danny Fuller, Chris Yeomans and Jada Howe running up the field as well. But Sandy Horn getting on the power, trying to shake off Chloe Jones in second place. Those top two riders starting to pull away from the rest of the field as Horn goes into the chicane, up to the top corner. And round they go up towards the final corner to complete the first lap. This really fast right-hander back on the power and a good run out of the final corner. Absolutely essential. As you can see, the race leader, 95, Sandy Horn, gets a great jump out of the final corner. Nice little run into that first left-hander and goes back up the hill. Chloe Jones still there in second place, but not close enough to go for the pass at the moment. Sandy Horn holding on well at the front so far. Chloe Jones just trying to grab a few tenths of a second here and there to close up but Sandy Horn gets back under braking into the right hander and there he goes your race leader Sandy Horn looking very strong at the front the bike just twitching under braking there slightly but Horn's got it well and truly under control Chloe Jones though still there in second place and Jones starts to close up ever so slightly on the race leader Sandy Horn goes into the top corner through the chicane and Sandy Horn who, as we said earlier, he's been the rider to beat this year in the Minimotos. Goes round the final corner. Jones still there in second place. Horn gets back on the power, past the finish line, and into the first left-hander, and then into this long right-hand corner. It's important to get this right, get out of the corner quickly, as we've got this uphill section, and doesn't quite do justice sometimes. It's a very steep part of the track here, into this third corner, and a tricky right and left hand a bit off cambered here as well but Sandy Horn has got that absolutely perfect and starts to pull away from Chloe Jones in second in third place just looking down the uh, the field here looks like Josh Darts moved into third place from Justin Bainbridge Danny Fuller in there as well but Sandy Horn great lap here and starting to pull away from Chloe Jones she's still there in second place but Horn not really Close enough to come under pressure at the moment. He's just going to ride his own race so far, going through the chicane. And Sandy Horn, the race leader, gets back on the power and past the finish line. Fastest lap of the race there for Sandy Horn. And we're just looking at lap charts here. 58.246, pulling another half second from Chloe Jones in second. Jones still there, but Sandy Horn, it's all about him so far. He can't afford any kind of a mistake, though, because Jones is still there in second. And only, I'd say, around two and a half seconds behind at the moment. Sandy Horn, though, starts to close up on the tail end. I think that's Jada Howe in seventh place who he's closing up on in the closing stage of the race. And Sandy Horn just got to take his time. He's not under any direct pressure at the moment. Goes down the inside. I think that looks like Jada Howe. But Horn now with a clear track in front of him gets back on the power, trying to make the advantage stick as he goes into the chicane. Just seeing if Chloe Jones has gone through, and there she is in second place. She's got past the back marker and trying to keep the pressure on Sandy Horn, who makes his way up towards the final corner. And Sandy Horn looking in great form here as he goes past the finish line to complete another lap through the left-hander and then into the long right-hand corner. Once again, just making sure he gets a good run up the hill, nice and fast into this top corner. And Sandy Horn using all of the track. He knows that Chloe Jones isn't close enough to go for a braking pass. And Horn continuing to pull away. Chloe Jones looks like at the moment she'll have to settle for second place because Sandy Horn, 95, your race leader, is in top form so far. There's Jones in second, but at the moment she's got no answer for Sandy Horn, the race leader. Chloe Jones goes into the left-hander and she's not giving up. Of course, anything can happen in racing. Any kind of a mistake from Sandy Horn or bike trouble, and she'll be well and truly in there. But at the moment, Sandy Horn running a textbook race so far goes up towards the final corner and he's looking in great shape as he comes round the final corner and down the finish straight Sandy Horn 95 takes the chequered flag so Sandy Horn takes the victory and overall in the Minimoto Junior 4.2 from Danny Fuller
In the Minimoto Senior, Joshua Data takes the championship win from Paul Nichols. In the heavies, it was Danny Fuller, who's the 2016 champion from Jamie Diss. And in the lights, it was Will Howarth from Stuart Carter. Whilst in the junior production class, Sandy Horn takes the championship from Troy Jeffrey. And Sandy Horn also taking the victory in the 4.2 heavies from Chloe Jones in second. Troy Jeffrey takes the lights from Casey O'Gorman.